quick new idea that I've been working on. I've been working on a arrangement of Misty, and I wanted to talk about one of the harmonic ideas that I've been working into it. So we're looking at the second A section of Misty going to the bridge. So we've got... And so we're ending on that um, E flat six, and we're trying to go into the next part into the B flat minor. So how do we make this melody more interesting? Well, I've been looking at different videos from Barry Harris on his sixth diminished pattern, and if you don't know what that is, basically, if we take in the key of C major, you take the one chord as a six, and then the chord starting on the second is a diminished. So D, F, A flat, B. But when you get to the third, you are just doing an inversion of the sixth chord on the one. And then when you get to the fourth, you're doing an inversion of that diminished chord. And so you just alternate between the one six inverted and the diminished chord inverted. Etc. And if you think about this melody, well that's the first six notes of the E flat major scale. So what if we made that into a sixth diminished pattern? Okay, that last chord's not so good, is it? What you notice is that we're playing the same chord because, uh, you know, we're missing out the D that would give us that um, diminished feeling. So how do we replace that? Well, let's look at it. What is the next chord we're going to? We're going to... We're going to a B flat minor chord. And what leads to a B flat minor chord that would also have an E flat and a C in it, well, F7. So if we did that E flat uh, uh, sixth diminished pattern, but we replaced that last chord with an F7, how does that go? That works much better. It, it feels like there's this building tension, this building harmonic scale up into the next chord. So let's take a look at the whole mini section. Sounding pretty good to me.